Or come here for when you may be in a situation where you're trying to connect to the network and you receive this error saying cannot connect to DHCP server. So you may get this with Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I'm going to show you how to fix this. The first thing is if you have that error still loaded up, what you can do is you can click into test network. And then once you're here, it will you have the option to click into advanced settings and then you go to alternative MAC address and you click into clear. If you already dismissed the message, what you do is you just go to settings, general, network settings, then advanced settings, and then turn to MAC address and then clear. It will ask you to restart your Xbox Series S. So just make sure that you restart that one. And once you've done that, what you're going to do is just want to uh, unplug the Ethernet cable. If you have an Ethernet cable, unplug it from the Xbox Series S and you want to plug it in to a Windows computer, right? So plug it into a Windows computer. If you're trying to do this over Wi-Fi, then what you're going to do is just connect your computer to the same Wi-Fi network as you were using uh, to try and connect to the Xbox Series S. And then once you've done that, what you're going to do is you just want to go onto your computer and you're just going to click into search here. You're going to search CMD. You're going to load this one up and you're going to type in the following command. So it's quite simple. This isn't, this isn't some, uh, you know, some magic tricks. You're just going to type in IP config slash o just like this click in enter and what you're going to do is you can see we have all of the settings uh right here so what we're going to do is you just need to uh you know take a picture uh, if you need to or you can just you know look at these details because we're going to need them in a minute uh so what we're going to do here is you just need the ipv4 so let's just uh, scroll up here so we see here wireless LAN adapter wi-fi so let's say uh, you have the issue of the wi-fi we're going to uh, need all these details. So you're going to need uh, the DHCP server. You're going to need the DNS server and you're going to need the IPv4 address. So if you're on Wi-Fi, you just look for wireless LAN adapter. If you uh, are doing this for Ethernet, you just want to uh, find the details through the Ethernet adapter. Because I don't actually have Ethernet uh, you know, connected, then I don't see these details here. I see them in my wireless uh, LAN adapter Wi-Fi. So you just want to remember all of these details these will come in handy in just a bit. So what we're going to do is we just uh, once we have all those details, we're going to go back to the Xbox itself. And what we're going to do here is you just want to plug in the Ethernet cable again. If you didn't already, uh, if you uh, did, then what you're going to do is you'll probably see the same error. And so you just want to go back into this advanced settings area like I showed earlier. And once you're inside of the advanced settings area, we're just going to click into IP settings and then manual. And you want to set the IPv4 address to the same address that you saw uh, on the command prompt. So if I go back to screen recording here, you can see here IPv4 address. And you see this one. This is the one you want to enter. Uh, make sure, of course, if you're trying to fix Ethernet, use the Ethernet adapter. If you're trying to fix the wireless, uh, you use the uh, wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi here. So you just want to enter this into the Xbox Series S. Make sure you enter that in uh, correctly. Very important. And uh, just you know enter that one in and another thing as well is once you enter this in it will also ask you uh, for the you know the DHCP and the DNS so just make sure you enter in all of those settings also go to DNS settings set this to manual and make sure that you set the DNS server here as well then what's going to happen is once you do this uh, you just want to you know retry it will give you an option to just click into test settings or test network something like that and then once you do that, you're going to have uh, a different error. And so it's going to say cannot connect through static IP instead of cannot connect to DHCP server. So what you're going to do is you just want to test this three or four times. And then after you do that, you're going to restart uh, your Xbox. So uh, it's a bit more complex than that. We're going to hold down the Xbox logo, click in turn off console. And once the console is turned off, give it around 10 seconds or so. And then you just want to unplug the Ethernet uh, adapter from your Xbox. If you are using Wi-Fi, you just you know restart, no problem. And then once you have uh, the Ethernet unplugged, you want to unplug your modem or unplug your router and then restart your uh, modem or router. And then once you've done that, you just want to um, restart your Xbox. And then once you restarted your Xbox, then plug in the Ethernet cable. And then once you do that, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see uh, the same error which you saw, which is the uh, static IP error. But this time what you can do instead now is you can go to uh, the advanced settings here. So just go back into the advanced settings. And what you're gonna do 
is you can head to IP address and just make sure you now set this to automatic and uh, just click automatic and then what it's going to do is it's going to set all the details correctly this time and then uh, if you set the DNS settings as well you set that to automatic then try test network or try reconnecting and once you've done that you're going to be good to go and you're going to see the message saying that your console is now connected to the internet and um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So I will leave a more detailed uh, article in the description if you thought it was a bit confusing. I tried to explain the things best I can, but of course I don't get the error personally, so I can't walk you through the fix. However, you know, I've literally been reading off these instructions. So if you want the instructions, those are in the description. If there's anyone else in the comments having issues, make sure to help those, uh, those people out as well. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.